Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all my beloved students year 5 Arif PLP and all students across Malaysia so today we're going to continue our lesson on new topic uh, unit 4 time so today we're going to see about uh, our, sub, our first subtopic uh, which is uh, duration okay you can refer to your textbook you can turn to page 123 <coughs> and 124 okay so today we're going to cover a few content eh, about duration of time number one is days and hours Number two, months and days. And number three, years, months and days. Alright, okay, now we go to the first one. Days and hours. Okay, what is duration? Apa itu, dur apa itu durasi? Durasi itu adalah satu tempo masa. Alright, so about days and hours Berkaitan hari dan jam Okay, this is the example You can see on page 123 in your textbook Okay, the Okay, so this is the example eh? State the duration of the study tour from the situation above Okay, it is 10.50 in the morning Okay, on 25th July 2021 until 12.50 <coughs> 12 p.m. on 27 July 2020. Jadi sekarang ni dia suruh kita, so kita kira durasi masa. Eh, daripada 25 Julai 2021 pukul 10.50 pagi. Hingga 12.50 tengah hari Pada 27 Julai 2021 Okay, so here we have to We can use a timeline method Kita boleh guna kaedah uh, Garis masa eh? As you can see in your In your textbook eh? On page 100 On page 123 So first of all, you have to draw You have to draw line here eh? Okay, from Okay, we draw line here. Okay, so here we start from twenty fifth July. Okay, ten. 50 a.m. So, one day will be 26 July 10 50 a.m. So, daripada sini, dia pergi ke sini, dia akan jadi one day, satu hari. Eh? Okay, next, 26 July until 27 27 July also on 10 50 am okay will be another one day okay dia akan jadi satu hari juga one day okay next so on 27 July from 10 50 am until 12 50 pm 
okay 12.50 am would be 2 hours okay bersamaan dengan 2 jam okay so the duration okay will be 2 days eh okay we got 2 days here yeah? 1 day plus 1 day we got 2 days and 2 hours okay this is what we call timeline method ni kita panggil kaedah garis masa we have to draw kita kena lukis eh we using timeline method we have to draw kita kena lukis bila guna kaedah garis masa kita kena lukis okay next how about months and days macam mana pula dengan hari uh, macam mana pula dengan bulan dan hari okay you can see the example on page 124 okay you can see the example here eh? calculate the duration in days of the flower planting program okay start from 1 february 2020 until 8 march 2020 eh? this will kita kira durasi dalam hari untuk program penanaman bunga eh daripada 1 Februari tahun 2020 hingga 8 Mac tahun 2020. Okay, so how? So now we can use uh, calendar method. Kita boleh guna kaedah kalender eh. Okay, so the question. So here we know eh from 1st Februari from 1st February until 29th February. Okay, this is uh, okay, 2020 is a leap year. Tahun 2020 ni adalah tahun lompat di mana bulan Februari dia bersamaan dengan 29 hari. Eh? Okay. Okay, next. Okay, this is March. Ini kalender bulan March. Okay, so now for February we will have 29 days. Eh, untuk bulan Februari kita ada 29 hari. Okay, program tu berakhir pada end 8 March. Eh, berakhir pada 8 hari bulan. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. So this is 8 days. All right. So the duration okay will be 29 days plus uh, sorry, 8 days eh? equal to 37 days. Eh? Okay, ni, so this is what we call calendar method. Ni kita panggil kaedah calendar. Eh? So, tadi kita kira berdasarkan soalan tadi dia dah bagi. So, kita, so we refer to calendar. Jadi, kita rujuk kepada calendar. Kita tandakan berapa hari eh? ikut bulan. So here got uh, a few important notes. Kat sini ada beberapa nota penting. Eh? In leap year, as I told you just now, seperti yang saya dah bagi tahu sekejap tadi, eh? in leap year, February has 29 days. Eh? Tahun lompat ada 29 hari eh? dalam bulan Februari. -nya. So the total days in leap year will be 366 days. Eh? And it will only occur once every 4 years. Eh, tahun lompat ni dia akan berlaku 4 tahun sekali. For example, last year, tahun 2020, <coughs> tahun yang kita COVID, permulanya wabak COVID, okay, kita, tahun lepas kita ada 366 hari. So, next leap year will be on 2024. Jadi, tahun lompat yang seterusnya akan berlaku pada tahun, insyaAllah tahun 2024 nanti. So, untuk tahun yang biasa, 
we will we will have uh, only 365 days untuk tahun biasa kita ada 365 hari tahun lompat ada 366 hari okey so next Okay, here, January, March, May, July, August, October and December has 31 days. Eh? Uh, bulan January, March, May, July, August, October dan December ada 31 hari. Eh? While April, June, September and November has 30 days each. Bulan bulan April, bulan Jun, bulan September dan bulan November ada 30 hari. So, February which is uh, for regular year untuk tahun biasa ada 24 hari ada 28 hari February for leap year has 29 days eh? bulan February dalam tahun lompat ada 29 hari so you have to remember eh? all these important notes eh? kena ingat ni eh? nota penting ok next we go to the third one ok involving years months and days sekarang kita pergi ke bahagian yang ketiga melibatkan tahun bulan dan hari ok you can turn to, to your textbook on page 126 ok so this is the example eh? social welfare project eh? project upgrading sports complex eh? project uh, <coughs> project kebajikan social eh? nama projek ni projek uh, Projek <coughs> projek naik taraf, kemudahan, kompleks sukan, eh, starting date 1st December 2019 and the completion date on 19 January 2000, 2021. Eh. So, ini adalah contoh soalan on page 126. Ini adalah contoh soalan dekat muka surat 126 dalam buku teks. Ok, jadi projek Uh, projek naik taraf kompleks sukan ni bermula pada 1 Disember 2019 dan berakhir pada 19 Januari 2021. So the question is calculate the duration in days eh, of the project of upgrading the sports complex based on the information eh, on the left. Jadi dia suruh kira durasi dalam hari. Eh. Projek untuk naik taraf penggunaan kompleks sukan ni from 1st December 2019 until 19 January 2021 eh? so equal to how many days jadi berapa hari ok so now we use the calendar method eh? since the since involving months and years oleh sebab melibatkan bulan dan tahun saya galakkan kita untuk saya galakkan awak semua gunakan kaedah kalender. Eh? Okay, here. Okay. Alright, this one we start from uh, We start from 1st December eh. So 1st December until 31st December. This one will be 31 days. Okay, how about 2020? How about year 2020? Okay, as I told you before, as I told you just now, itu yang saya baru bagi tahu tadi. So, yang ni ada tahun lompat eh. Tahun lepas, tahun 20 ada tahun lompat. So, this one equal to 366 days. Okay, and the, and the project complete on 19 January eh. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So, this one equal to 19 days. Alright. So, now we total up. 
all these days. This kan kita jumlahkan semua sekali. So this one thirty one days. Next. <coughs> Next, uh, 366 days. And the last one, 19 days. So, we sum up. Jadi, kita jumlahkan semua. 1 plus 6, we got 7. 7 plus 9, we got 16. So, 6 at the bottom. 1 go to top. So, 1 plus 3, we got 4. 4 plus 6. 6, we got 10. Plus 1, we got 11. Alright. So, 1 plus 3, we got 4. So, the answer is 416 days. Eh? Jadi, jumlah dia bersama dengan 416 hari. Alright. So, I hope all of you, you enjoy our lesson today. Eh? So, have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice school holiday. So, inshallah, see you everyone next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.